Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whenever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Uh, Trevor, I'm going to be blocking something somewhere, so this this is fine. Actually, what I can do... Is that safe? I need to do a new one. Hold on. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Ah, much better. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's... advice. Wow. See you later. Yep. Okay. How's your day going? It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Thanks, car. Oh, that's it? That's the rules? Okay, cool. Welcome to my shop. Hiya. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Cool. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. I... I do. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. That's fair. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Hmm. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years Whitey ago. Whitey Bones. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. 
I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key, one that opens all locks at once. All at once? How does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Hello again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. So we have to find a magnifier. Is it updating this? Not really. Um, so if we find a magnifier, we can go to the lock and get the... Uh, Governor's Mansion. Oh, wait. Let's go in here. Carla. Swordmaster. Guy brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally <coughs> clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Somehow. <laughs> Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. Town maintenance. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. <gasps> Casual sword fighting while we're talking. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have. It. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? Ha! <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. Well, so unlikely but still possible? No. You want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island or don't you? Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Governor stuff. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, 
I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. It's actually called Voodoo Tricks You Can Do at Home. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last okay. book you borrowed. You never even apologize. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologize. Hey, Daddy, it's been great so far. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Okay, so I guess we aren't borrowing those books right now. Maybe we have to distract her or something first. Oh. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. It's soft and extra fuzzy. It's soft and extra fuzzy. It's a lot of work being governor. We wander around the house? Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Okay, awkward. Older portrait. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. New report. His overly I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Anything else here? I don't really have anything to say. Oh. I just like doing this. Okay. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Governor stuff. I thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Okay. Let's go to the dock. Let's go talk to LeChuck. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Now I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm official. the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only monkey. requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. 
ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. <laughs> okay, um, so we need a disguise. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Hit him up. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, 3 to 4. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison. Would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. And, well, it's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. That's fair. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Everything is spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. Keep up the good work, buddy. It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. Safe keeping. You got it. Ooh, this is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Oh. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There is always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. There we go. But I believe I could restore its abilities. Good to know. Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. All my merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. Pointy. It is a non-magical, ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent Oh no, we'll, we'll see about giving the uh, I will need you to verbally agree to frog. a release uh -oh. of liability. Okay. The this governor. product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh-huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. 
By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with no. it? No. I am not oh. able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Okay. What's cooking? The Feast of Knowledge. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, he said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it, and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the ah. cook at the scumba. There we go. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers. Only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Corina! Hi, Corina. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Okay, can I buy anything else? By the way, I saw a couple people complaining that all this game is is talking and will I hurry up and do other things. And to respond to that real quick, this game is a lot of talking. It's all voice dialogue and the dialogue is great. So I'm going to be taking my time exploring. Let's explore every option. And can I hurry up and go do other things? No. No, I cannot. Okay. 
It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Applause, Someone's please. very excited I'm looking at this sign. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? I'd need a lot of keys to open that. A lot of gold keys. I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. Okay, so we got... Oh! If you hold tab, it shows... Interesting. Okay, okay. Wally! Hey, Wally! Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Wow. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Your maps. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, yes, Karen, no problem. what am Thank I supposed yourself. to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. Nice. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. True. I swear to God if he takes his monocle out. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Thanks, uh, Slippage. Thanks. Hey, Wally. Busy? Yep. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. 